It is a local coordinated effort to stop scams targeting the elderly, with San Diego leading the way. Team 10 investigator Melissa Masiha shows us how the new group helped to catch a ring of thieves stealing millions of dollars. This is Lita Harris after her sentencing hearing in federal court downtown earlier this month. She pleaded guilty back in July for her role in a large nationwide grandparent scam. This type of crime has unfortunately been around for years, preying on the elderly's trust. They were receiving phone calls. The phone call was from somebody on the other line crying, pretending to be their relative, grandchild, or somebody they knew, and saying, I need money, I'm in jail, or I was in a car accident and the victim is hurt. Harris is one of several people prosecutors said extorted and defrauded more than $2 million from more than 70 elderly victims all across the country. At least 10 of those victims live here in San Diego. They lost more than 300000 to this fraud. Assistant U.S. Attorney Sasha Johnson is the elder fraud coordinator for the Southern District. She said a new tool known as the Elder Justice Task Force helped crack this crime ring. The task force is an effort to bring together local law enforcement and federal agencies to solve crimes. Nothing like this existed before. They have analysts that pour over and deconflict and prepare reports and see if, if, if for example, a scam, a phone number, an address, uh, some identifier matches anywhere else. Johnson said the task force evolved as the grandparent scam case came together. This was the first big case for the task force. They went and they collected money. They also instructed victims to wire money and um, they laundered money. And they used um, the, the sense of urgency. They used human emotion and fear. As of now, six defendants have pleaded guilty. Two are fugitives. One person who pleaded guilty, Timothy Ingram. He's seen here in the sentencing memo provided to me by federal prosecutors. They said he ran a network of money mules to steal money from victims. In one instance, court documents showed Ingram sent another man to pick up $7,600 from a victim in El Cajon. Ingram sentenced to nine years in prison. Johnson reminds any victim, no matter the amount, report your loss. It may help someone else to have your facts in the database the next time they target someone. And, and your facts just might match that pattern. Melissa Masiha, Team 10.